What's up guys? I'm Richie Quico and today we're gonna go over how to change the turn signal lights in your Mercedes S-Class W220. So this pertains to any S-Class, whether it be like a S430, S500. Changing these signal lights is gonna be the same throughout these cars as long as they, they're within the range of 1998 to 2005. So let's get started. First you're gonna need a 2357A bulb. This pertains to the front of the S500. You're going to need a 7507. This is for the rear. In order to change the front turn signal, unfortunately, you're going to have to remove the front headlight. Don't panic. This is not as hard as it seems, but this is because there's barely any room behind the headlights to get your hand in there, let alone take out a bulb. So what you're going to want to do is get an eight millimeter drive socket wrench as well as a 10 millimeter drive socket wrench. And you're gonna wanna unscrew, unscrew this one. This is an eight millimeter. Here's another eight millimeter. And you're also gonna wanna unscrew this 10 millimeter, this 10 millimeter, and this one. I've already done so on the other side, so it's gonna look like something like this. So this side's ready to go. Before I can take out this one though, you also wanna make sure these are off as well to make sure uh, your, your bumper can move. With a little bit of struggling, you can just wiggle this thing out of there in order to change the bolts. Now that I've taken off these 10 millimeter bolts along with these ones, now you can see how the bumper is able to wiggle. Also to note, these 10 millimeter bolts are different sizes. The longest one does go into the bumper frame, and then the two smaller ones go into this, into this bracket. All the bolts here are taken off and as well as the other side where we can now take off this front headlight. But what you're gonna wanna do, if you see right here, you're gonna try, you're gonna wanna bring this headlight to the right and above this bumper point right here, so. Yes. As you can see, I, I wiggled the, the headlight in front of the bumper. What I did was just, on, I can demonstrate better on this side. What I did is just like I pulled it, pulled it back and then started pulling the headlight to the right so that this eventually wiggled in front of it. Um, since there's enough room now, what you're gonna wanna do is take off the wires. So there's little tabs that you wanna press in that will click and then you just wiggle it out. Pretty, pretty easy. There's one right there that I've just taken out right here. There was a little tab on the top. And there's another one, the bottom right there. You see that? Yeah, there we go. Pretty easy, got another one out. So now that the headlight is pretty much out there, this ball joint right here was the third mounting point for this, for this headlight. We took out two wires right here. Here's one, here's another one. There's a third one right here. There you go. There's a little tab right here on on top. Actually on both sides. So you would have to press both of them down. But that's the last one. So now we can easily take off the headlight to expose it in order to change your bulbs and stuff. So right here trying to balance this thing is where your turn signal light is going to be and you just release it and there it is now in order to put this back into the car you're just going to do everything reverse except what you want to do is position the headlights inside the car first and then plug in all the wires so let's do that right now I'm doing this side first inwards and then I'm gonna try to wiggle this in after but after but since I'm putting this in first what you want to do now is start plugging in the wires back. You want to make sure the wires are back in because if they're not, they, you know, your headlights won't turn on and then you're going to have to take it out again. So what I like to do is that after I plug in the socket, I like to tug on it, like on the plastic piece, don't tug on the wires to see if it's back on there. So making sure everything is back on by tugging it just a little bit. Yeah, and everything is. So now, you're just gonna wanna wiggle this thing back in 
and then screw everything back on together. And just like that, it's all done. So moving to the trunk of the car, this is probably the easiest one out of the three to change. You don't really have to take out anything in, the, in this car at least. Uh, there's like a space here you can take out right here. So all you're gonna have to do, see that? There's like an opening, you just pull it back and there to expose the board. Your turn signal is gonna be this white one right here. All you have, you're gonna have to do, you're gonna turn counterclockwise to release it and then you're just gonna tug it out and then there he is, there's the bulb. So yeah, this concludes this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.